The Neanderthals are a hominid species that coexisted with Homo sapiens 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. They are the closest relatives to Homo sapiens on the human family tree and are commonly perceived as brutish cavemen. However, Neanderthals were much more sophisticated than we've previously thought. These two species of humans seem so similar, but what gave us the advantage? Let's take a look. Around 450,000 to 130,000 years ago, Neanderthals inhabited the western Atlantic coast of Europe and eventually stretched as far as Central Asia by 130,000 to 40,000 years ago. This makes Neanderthals the first Homo species to inhabit a cold glacial environment. For a long time during the co-evolution of these hominid species, Homo sapiens remained in Africa, until roughly 40,000 years ago when they finally left Africa and dispersed into Western Europe, marking the period where Neanderthal populations began to dwindle. Neanderthals' bodies were suited to colder and darker environments. They had a low brow ridge with large eyes, which allowed sight in dim light, and wide flat noses that produced warm, moist air adapted for harsh, cold conditions. In comparison, Homo sapiens have a flat forehead, smaller eyes, and a smaller nose. Neanderthals' average brain size is approximately 1400 centimeters cubed, while a Homo sapiens average brain size is approximately 1300 centimeters cubed. Differences in the Neanderthal brain include a smaller frontal cortex. This part of the brain is responsible for memory, language, and forward planning, such as hunting tactics. Skeletal reconstructions show the average male Neanderthal was 1.6 meters tall, while the average male Homo sapien was around 1.8 meters tall. Neanderthals had a stockier build with thicker bones and stronger muscles. This allowed them to live in colder areas and also made them quite strong for hunting large animals. Neanderthals were excellent spearmen and made axes out of flint, wood and bone for close combat hunting. They used Mousterian tools which are described as thin flakes of stone. They are thin, easy to make and very deadly, although unlike Homo sapiens, Neanderthals never developed tools for long distance hunting, such as bows and arrows. Neanderthals lived in small communities and wide territories. Analysis of the breaking and healing of their bones suggests that they experienced close combat with large mammals. This also shows that they had an advanced medical system, as these breaks healed. They also buried their dead with possessions such as jewelry made of shell and feathers, and because of this, we have a good fossil record of them today. In comparison, Homo sapiens had larger communities. They had a more resolved life, where they domesticated animals and produced food through agriculture. They showed evidence of abstract thinking, forward planning and cultural development, as they started to create more sophisticated tools such as arrowheads, sewing needles for clothing and abstract art. Neanderthals had the FOXP2 gene, which is linked to speech and language development. They also had a hyoid bone, which Homo sapiens also possess. The hyoid bone is a U-shaped bone located just under the jawbone and to the front of the throat. This bone is also associated with the ability to speak. It supports the larynx and anchors the tongue and other muscles that help with speech and pronunciation. The hyoid bone does not differ much between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. The inner ear, however, is shaped differently in Neanderthals compared to Homo sapiens, but both are alike in function. Small ossicles were found in the middle ear of Neanderthals, indicating that they could hear, which means they could fully communicate with one another. Neanderthals had larger voice boxes, meaning that their sounds would have been deeper than Homo sapiens. So, although they could fully communicate with each other, their sounds would not be similar to ours. Shock is difficult to or fad. Being a Neanderthal, I was Homo sapien in an edge of Florida, Kayla. It's fatal and again, a V Neanderthal, a all a DNA DNA. Ta three fun gate and gain a Viaku, false party in our DNA. Falter DNA in a Neanderthal, a Dini as in Europe, as in Osh. It's fear the raw, not will again Neanderthal in your own Africa. Carrying a protein RNA, a falter as in a Neanderthal, Virushi, Exula, a husband. Neanderthals went extinct approximately 40,000 years ago. 
There are many theories as to why Homo sapiens persevered and Neanderthals did not. Around the same time of Homo sapiens emerging into Europe, there is evidence of a climate shift in which the climate started to become much warmer. This may have put a strain on the Neanderthals' cold body physiques. As mentioned before, Neanderthals had a much smaller cortex. Some scientists believe this would have given them personality traits similar today that we consider to be on the autism spectrum. They were very task oriented and they lived in small communities. These small communities may have been overpowered by the larger Homo sapien communities newly migrating into Europe. Neanderthals also had a very low genetic diversity, which would have made them susceptible to the diseases being carried by the Homo sapiens emerging out of Africa at the time. DNA evidence also showed that there was interbreeding between both communities. So it is a possibility that Neanderthal populations may have been mixed and subsequently diluted into the larger Homo sapien community. The exact reasons behind the Neanderthal extinction is unclear, but we share a huge amount of characteristics with our ancient relatives, Homo Neanderthalus.